one of the things I'm wanting to do today is uh, try to do that damn wet fire one more time. I've got more experience in playing with matches and a couple other little tricks up my sleeve that everybody should already know, but I'm just learning. I want to try, try another wet fire. So here's our Coglin's Pack X. And you can see, not a lot to it. This is where you get your, your weight savings. So you get a chopping device. And uh, I'm guessing it's probably full tang. Not real super impressed with it. Uh, a SOG uh, Pack X is like 50 bucks. This Coglin's is about 12. So it's a lot cheaper. I'm going to use this to try to get some of that fat wood out and then we'll try to locate some standing dead wood which is best for uh, wood in a wet fire because laying on the ground it gets soaked through so let's get some fat wood I'm not too happy with the smell. It doesn't have that real strong fat wood smell. It's got the beginnings of it, but I don't think it's been sitting long enough. So I'm going to go to another locale where I know there's fat wood. I love level terrain. Because I'm old and lazy. And pine, 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 pine. We got the pine forest going on here, people. Oh. Right here, nice. Nice pine. And all through here, a whole bunch of pine trees. When you look up, Oh. Yeah. You can see by the color, it's not real dark. The darker, the better. And that's got a good got a good pitch smell to it, so let's get some more. Uh, not quite what I was hoping to find. But we did get some fat wood in the making. Let's see if there's enough. Uh, see if there's enough pine tar in there for it to do any good. And before we do too much, we need to make a bed, uh, just a wooden bed. We try to start our fire right here on the wet ground. The uh, the wet earth. It's going to soak heat out, and it's going to pull, uh, uh, it, it's just going to ruin your efforts. Here's some wood that I had from a previous attempt. I'm just going to pull this out and use this as my floor. Take my camp axe, try to pull up some 
fat wood. And then there's my fire starter kit. That's storm matches, um, regular matches, matches in a tube, a lighter, a blast match, a USGI pocket knife. I think I mentioned that. Um, uh, fire steel, magnesium bar. It's wrapped in aluminum foil. That way you can unwrap your aluminum foil and, and shave your magnesium into the aluminum foil and then take it and pile it where you want it instead of shaving it all over the forest floor. And that's pretty much it. And I think I've got some wax cotton balls. Yeah. Wax coated cotton balls. A little trick to these. You need to split them open and get to the uh, waxy part or the cotton part. And see, they're completely waterproof. Not like footsteps. Um, they're completely waterproof. You just open it up, get to the cotton part, get the cotton burning. And the wax burns for a long time. This is this to me is preferable to a uh, petroleum jelly cotton ball. Even if this isn't uh, all the way fat wood, it's got enough pitch in it to, to be a good fire starting uh, wood. I don't know folks, we'll try it, let's see. get some of this fibrous cotton out. We won't catch easy. So you can see it. Just can a little bit more. I'm gonna give a regular match go at it.
We can always add more um, wax cotton if we need to. I can smell this uh, quasi fat wood. It's, it's got that pine pitch smell to it, so there is some some pitch to it. And it is it's starting to burn. I can smell that distinct fat wood smell. I'm trying to snuff it just right. Start small. Let's not crowd it too much. You know, sometimes you get to where you want to be anxious and hurry up and get this thing going and on and on. There's some damp wood that I'm going to try to get the burn. I to get the fat wood going real good. Come on, See the black smoke that's coming out, and that's from the pine. Pine pitch. That's what shot it sounds like someone's walking around. Anybody in the right mind gonna be out here. And what you see in there is a combination of the pine pitch and the wax burning. Where you get such a uh, forceful fire out of it. And a lot of that wood that I just put right here is kind of damp, pretty damp. And so the concept is to get the fire to dry out the wood enough that it'll start to burn. And the best sources of wood is from standing trees rather than just off the ground. Let's see if I can't harvest it. A few more twigs and branches off some trees here. Here's some wood I just chopped off the tree and I just take the camp uh, pack axe and start shaving this old wet outer part so we can get down to some, some real wood and it's not down wood you see how green it is but we're going to try it anyway
that's what I call a fire in the rain. Although it's not raining a lot. It's still coming down a little bit. But we did get the fire. And that's a big, big success from the last time I tried. You can see some of the steam is coming out right in here. That's the steam from where the wood's wet. But you can also see right in here where the wood's burning. So it's drying out, and then it's uh, able to become combustible at the same time. And uh, this is as big as I'm going to let it get. Because this is uh, a successful experiment, and I don't have any need to go any bigger. So this is what we're after right here. It's what we call a wet fire. Getting fire going in the wet. While we're here, I guess we ought to take a second. Talk about the uh, salt pack. And uh, this is a pretty nice pack. This has got kind of a hard back to it. It's not really a frame, but it's a pretty impressive support. It does lay right on your back, so you're not going to have any ventilation. It has uh, some molly straps, which I don't know if you give a shit or not cool factor is it's super heavy duty and it's Marpat. Good lord, you can't do much better than that. Got a carry handle. You got a place here for a headset, for a um, speaker microphone or an antenna to poke out. Uh, and you can strap it down a little bit to tighten it down. Got a couple of straps on the side for that. Uh, it's got a nice uh, chest strap. And it's got a pretty decent uh, set up here for a waist belt and uh, bringing it up here there's not too much weight in it but it's pretty comfortable I, I liked it it's much better than a, a backpack from Walmart or something like that it cost a few dollars but it's it's really well built and um, should give you years of good service Toes are nice and warm and dry, no problems whatsoever.